let us try to solve problem number three under case uh, two of mesh analysis with current sources wherein yung current source natin is located between two meshes. So we have here a circuit with two current sources between meshes. So maritime 5 ampere source and we have a dependent uh, current source na 3i sub O and then we have another source here, here voltage source na 10 volts na pahanap sa atin yung I sub 1, I sub 2, I sub 3, and I sub 4 so these are all um, loop currents ang first step natin is to draw dito sa figure natin kasi nakadrawing na yung ating mga loop currents ayan, I1, I2, I3, I4 as well as yung ating mga branch current Usually, okay, saan ba dapat mag-draw ng ating mga branch current? Mag-drawing kayo dun sa kung saan located yung ating mga current sources between meshes. So, itong 5 amperes, so mag-drawing ka. So, susunod mo lang, tutuntunin mo lang kung ano yung i-maximize natin. Tutuntunin mo lang kung ano yung direction ng mga loop current. Sasabayan mo siya doon sa branch. So, ito, I sub 2. Ayun, I sub 2. Let's say we have load P. Okay, I sub 2 papunta doon, going upward. I sub 1, going upward. Tapos, ito si 5 ampere. So, magnanode ka dito. Okay, you will get an equation or an equivalent of I1 and I2 in terms of 5 ampere. As well as dito naman, mag-node tayo dito kasi dito located yung ating isang dependent current source. So, I sub 3, tutuntunin mo. At point, at node Q tayo, no? And then, I sub 2, tutuntunin mo rin yung direction niya. So, yun na yung branch current natin. And we have a dependent current source na 3, I sub O. Kailangan natin ito para mag-simplify yung ating uh, or ma kumonte yung number of equations natin dito sa simultaneous equations natin. Kasi we expect na Okay, if we have four unknowns, we have four equations. But our target is to uh, compress yung ating mga equations para magkaroon tayong three equations, three unknown. And then, meron pa kasing additional unknown dito na I sub O. So, we have to uh, have an equation of I sub O in terms of I sub 2 and I sub 3. Kaya, kailangan natin ng KCL at uh, node Q and node P. So, you can also have a uh, KCL dito sa node na to. Okay. In terms of I sub 1, 5, and kaso lang kasi kung dito ka kasi nag-node, dalawa ang unknown mo, si 3 I sub O at saka si 5 ampere. Diba? So, best talaga dito tayo mag-node para kay 5 ampere I1 and I2 at saka node Q for 3 I O, I2, and I3. So, yan talaga ang best choice to have your KCL equations. Okay, so umpisahan na natin by applying KVL sa ating loop. Loop 1, loop 2, 3, and 4. Take na tayo KVL at loop 1. Okay, so actually hindi loop 1 eh. Super mesh na tayo agad mag-uumpisa. According to the rules sa uh, case 2 natin, if we have a uh, current source, dependent or independent man that is located between meshes, ayan, ang gagawin natin is to exclude. Okay? E exclude natin itong mga to, Okay? Including yung kanilang mga nakasiris na elements doon. Okay? And then we create a super mesh. Okay? KVL at super mesh tayo. Tapos dun tayo magka-KBL based sa super mesh. Ayan. I-retain natin yung mga loop, yung mga loop natin. Current loops. So, umpisahan natin sa umpisahan natin dito na lang kay 2. Okay. Positive 2i sub 1. And then plus 4i sub 2. And then kay 8. Kaso lang si 8 dalawa ang current na dadaan sa kanya. I sub 3 and I sub 3 and I sub 4. So, I sub 3 minus I sub 4. Ayan. And then, meron pa ba? 
so two four eight and meron pa yun, yung 6 plus 6 i sub 2 f equal to 0 this is i sub wait lang, yung 4 i sub 3 sorry okay, medyo maliit kasi talaga, lalakihan ko okay lalakihan muna natin 4 i sub 3 and Okay, so ang magkakapares ay uh -huh, ito, tapos isang 6 na. Okay, plus 6 i sub 2 and then 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 plus 12 plus 12 i sub 3 8 i sub 4 equals 0. Okay, tama pa yung mga sign. 6 and then 12. Okay, and then we multiply this equation by 1 half para mas kumonte yung ating mga numbers. Multiply yun lang. So, i sub 1 plus 3 i sub 2 6i sub 3 minus 4i sub 4 equals 0. So this is 3. Okay. So this is our equation 1. So tignan natin mamaya kung kailangan pa natin isimplify ito. Equation 1. Okay, next proceed tayo sa loop um, dito, sa loop i sub 4. So, KVL at loop 4. Ayan, so KVL tayo dito. So, 10 volts. Ito, 10 plus 8. Dalawa ang current. i sub 4 minus I sub, ano yung kabilang current? I sub 3. And then plus 2. I sub 4 equals 0. Ayan. So, we simplify 10 plus 8. I sub 4 minus 8. I sub 3 plus 2. I sub 4 equals 0. Combine like terms. Nain natin yung negative 8. I sub 3. Okay, negative 8 i sub 3 um, 4 8 plus 10 i sub 4 equals 10 negative 10 okay, 8 i sub 3 and then 10 i sub 4 negative 10 and then multiply this by 1 1 half so, this is negative 4 i sub 3. Negative 4 i sub 3 plus 5 i sub 4 equals negative 5. Okay, so this is our equation 2. Equation 2. Okay. Now, we apply KCL kasi ubus na yung mga loops natin. Okay, KCL naman tayo. KCL at node P. Okay, KCL tayo. So, I1 in entering, ay I2 entering. I sub 2 entering minus I1. So, leaving si ano no? Leaving si 5 amperes. So, minus 5 equals 0. So, I2 entering. I1 leaving. Negative 5 leaving. Ayan. So, I1 negative um, plus I sub 2 equals 5. Okay. I1 plus I sub 2 okay, equals 5. Okay. 
So this is equation 3. Next, uh, KVL ulit tayo. At node Q. Node Q. Okay, I3 entering positive. Plus 3 I sub O. Ito yung I sub O natin. Na kailangan natin palitan. Okay, anyway. Plus 3 I sub O. Ano pa? And then, minus I sub 2 is equal to 0. So, I3 entering, minus, minus. Okay. So, negative I sub 2 plus I sub 3 plus 3 I sub O equals 0. 